Hello and welcome to Gray Space. This is episode three of my podcast, the Gray Space podcast. Uh, it's just me in the studio today, unless you're counting my girlfriend's stuffed frog or the various animals that are around my apartment, because currently there are three animals, uh, because Lexi's cat is also here, because we're doing an introduction uh, while Nobu is still little. So... If there's, if there's like a random pet you've never seen before and you're like, what the fuck? It's Honey. She's over, she's hanging out in the cat tree. So, let's talk. Don't ask what fucking accent that was because I have no idea and I'm so sorry. Um, so, as you saw by the title, I am talking about um, my previous dog, Fives. If you didn't know who that like if you're if you clicked on the video because you don't know what I'm talking about um at one point I did have two dogs I still have Casper um but I rehomed my dog fives um close to a year no it was, it was yeah yeah close to a year ago at this point wow wow that's crazy it doesn't feel like that long um, and I wanted to talk about that for a second time because, hi, because, um, I just, you guys didn't like my first video, which is understandable because I also don't like that video. Um, but I was, I wasn't gonna address it again, honestly. Uh, I was just gonna, I, I privated that video and I was just gonna like, well, I'm gonna have to go to the grave like, and accept the fact that some people just think that I abandoned my dog because of a, a person I was dating. Um, and that's not true, but I do understand how it came across that way in the video because I was leaving out details because I wanted to do this, like, I don't know. I wanted to do this professional approach to it for some reason. Um, and I also wanted to, like, have a positive tone on it because I, for the record, I stand by my decision. This isn't me like apologizing or anything. This is me explaining why I was taking a positive tone in that video, which is because I'm going, as I'm going to explain, rehoming fives was a good thing um, for everyone involved. So, this is also not scripted, obviously. I think that's also part of why that video was kind of weird, because I scripted it, because again, I wanted to, like, I don't know. I didn't want to do one of those crying videos. I ended up crying because it was, at the time, n new, um, and it was still a sensitive, a very sensitive topic. But let's begin. We have to start at the beginning. We have to start almost two years ago to whenever I got this guy who has just come up on the bed. This is my first baby Casper. And be careful when you're laying down because Nobu is under the blankets right in front of you. I'm gonna move him. So I adopted Casper at a time in my life when I should not have been caring for another living thing. I was in a not great relationship. That person who I am friends with today because we both worked through our issues can testify that that was not a good relationship and we should not have gotten pets in that relationship. Um, and I was also doing real bad mentally. I'll get worse, but I was not doing amazing at this point. I was not in therapy or on treatment for any of my several issues. <laughs> um, and I wanted a dog. God, this is <laughs> fucking embarrassing. That's also why I wanted to do the first video the way I did, because this is embarrassing. And also, I don't know if this needs a trigger warning, but like, I'm gonna be talking about a depression I was in. Uh, so it's gonna get gross. So there's that mention. Um, but I wanted to get a dog because I had seen those fucking sad comics 
that are of the Grim Reaper visiting pets who have been, like, you know, abandoned or, you know, they've had something bad happen to them and the Grim Reaper is, like, kind to them, takes them away. Very sad little drawings. Whatever that person's going through, what is wrong with you? Oh, they make me cry every time. But... I don't know. I don't know why this sparked, it, looking back, I guess, a fucking savior complex because I was like, we have to get a dog. We have an apartment to ourselves so we can get a dog because I have money and I have love. And that's apparently the only things you need to care for another living thing. Spoilers, I learned the hard way that that's not true. I had so much love for fives. And I, I still do, you know, I still love him. I don't unlove him, right? Um, I had and have, you know, so much love for my pets. But at the time, I didn't know that, like, love isn't the only thing you need to, like, care for something. Care for a living, another living thing that would rely on you. But... I didn't think about that. I didn't think about how impulsive I was being. I was thinking, I want a dog. I want to save a, a poor little dog from the shelter. You know? So I did. I got Casper shortly after that. Um, Casper was kind of a rambunctious puppy. He was... He had just turned one at that point. He's, he's um, three and like one month old. What is that? He's 37 months. How old is he? 37 months. <laughs> um, hi. Yeah, he was looking at me because I'm talking about him. But he was a lot. And my fucking... Oh, this is... Uh, saying it saying it in my head, I've like been like, yeah, that was dumb. But having to say it out loud, knowing that other people are going to hear that these were genuine thoughts I had... Girl, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? You were too ill. That is the problem. But I had this rambunctious big ass dog that I was struggling with. And my brain didn't go, I should look into getting him trained. I went, I, w I was high on like this new thing on this dog mom like, thing I could be. So my dumb ass was like, you know what? I should just get another, like, older dog to be, like, to boss Cass around, to be like the alpha. Mental illness is so crazy. I think I... I don't think. I'm for sure. Part of me was totally just using that as an excuse because, again, I was high on the dog mom thing and I wanted another dog. Because, again, I loved Casper so much and that's all you need to care for something. So, I went and I got another dog. And it was Fives. And... Fives was not a help. How shocking. And a few months after I got Fives, me and the person I was dating broke up, and it was a very hard breakup. The, the weeks leading up to the breakup were also very hard. The time after was also like, very hard. It was a hard breakup. Jesus, why did I say that like that? Um, and so, because of that... <laughs> Why did I say it like that? Sorry. Um, so I fell into the worst depression in my life that I've ever had. Super cool. Neon green bangs me was bad, but oh, that apartment me, it's y'all. The fact that I am alive is like a little, it's, I'm glad, but like a little bit of a close call there, girl. Um, it was bad. So, this is, I know that this is sounding like a weird winding road of excuses, I'm kind of realizing. I'm trying to walk you through, like, oh, 
they are both still failures on my part, right? I recognize that. I recognize rehoming a dog is like kind of a failure. And I realize that being like, oh, well, it's good that I rehomed him because I was just a shitty parent. I realize that's also a failure, right? Like I'm not, I hope you guys don't think that I'm coming on here to like, I guess not look like an asshole. Because while I am justifying my actions, I'm not like justifying, I guess, my behavior. I'm not saying like that my decisions were good, <laughs> but my decision to rehome fives was. Long ass story short, Jesus. So anyway, I'm in this horrible depression. Um, I'm not eating, I'm not cleaning, I'm not leaving my house. So imagine how my animals are doing. I'll let you know how they were doing. They were shitting and pissing in my living room because I couldn't leave my room. Um, I really didn't expect to cry at that. Jeez, I really don't want to cry actually. I'm just gonna cringe at myself until I stop. And I'm done. <laughs> um, so it was very bad. And shortly after that, but s still in the depression era is when I met my most recent ex and meeting him was a wake up call. Cause I like at the time I didn't even really realize like how bad I was, even though my parents were both telling me like when we visited you girl, they were like, they they're divorced, but they, you know, visited separately. And they both were like, they talked separately about me. They were like, is she fucking okay? My dad wanted me to rehome my dogs way earlier than when I rehomed fives because he was, he thought they were the problem. He was like, I saw your apartment and I like thought they were ruining your life. And I was like, no, I'm doing that to myself. I'm kind of ruining their lives too. It's awesome. Oh my God. Oh, bitch, so cute. Anyway, so I'm still in my depression era and I meet this guy who, sorry, I'm trying to recenter it. I meet this guy who has his shit together, ha like has his shit together. And I'm like, oh, that's crazy. Wow, it's starting to look like I really don't. I'm starting to realize that I am living in like a fucking hermit dirty cave. Like, oh, that is kind of bad for me, isn't it? And he was like, yeah, <laughs> it is kind of bad. Um, and I didn't, I, I know why you guys thought that like he gave me an ultimatum or that like he made me get rid of fives because I left out this shit in my original video um, because I, it, I was embarrassed. Uh, it's gross. It was gross. Um, but I still like explained that he had a part in it, which is why it comes off like he made me do it. He didn't, but he was the push I needed to reassess what I had going on and how I needed to f like help myself and the people around me, the animals around me that relied on me. So I did go ahead and rehome fives, even though I did rehome fives after I had moved in with Tyler. It's because at that time, yeah, I was out of the like horrible hole I had dug for myself in that apartment, but I was still like the same person that I was when I lived in that apartment. And I was determined to get better. And I was determined to take the steps I needed to take. And it does suck, but that rehoming him was a step I needed to take. I couldn't care for myself and both of them. And that sucks. 
I'm not saying it doesn't. I just, I really hate the idea of people thinking that I, like, abandon a dog for a fucking man. Ew. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't do that. But I know why it seemed that way. But, oh, oh, my Starbies is here. Shit, my Starbies is at the door. Fuck, but they're sleeping on my leg and they look so cute. Okay, I'm gonna take a picture of them and then I'm gonna grab my Starbucks. And yes, I did Postmate even though I have a coffee machine. Yeah. Everybody has those days. Everybody knows what, what I'm talking about. Everybody gets that way. I'll be right back. Okay, Starbies is here. My Starbucks order is a venti iced dirty chai one shot blonde espresso with oat milk. And it's fire. Taste test. Fire. A little bit watered down because the ice is kind of melted, but I drink these um, disturbingly fast, so that's like fine. <laughs> it's not gonna matter. Sorry, I'm trying to think if I need to say anything else about fives. I actually, four people, people have asked um, if I have seen him since then, no. But I still have tabs on him. And he's doing great. He's still with, sorry, he's still with the couple that adopted him. They have renamed him, so his name's actually Flynn. Um, they're taking care of him. I can see his vet history, so fi Flynn is okay. And I am better now. Um, that's also something people were kind of going back to fives whenever I got Nobu because it was like, oh, you, you dumped one pet and then got another, you know? Um, and I did explain this, I think, already, but since we're, like, talking about it all again, um, I got Nobu because I cannot express how I am. Oh, hello, honey. <gasps> Hi, Miss Ma'am. I know. I know, Grouch. She's Grouch. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yes. Um, but since I have rehomed fives, I've been in therapy. I've found, like, a great therapist, and I've been with her for a while. And she has been with me through some shit. <laughs> She went me she went with me through my big breakup. She went with me through fucking realizing I was a lesbian girl. Eh, that's how we are. I've also been on meds. I'm on Lexapro and Abilify. And I also got out of a bad relationship and a relationship that took me a while to realize that I was kind of being treated like sh a little shitty. <laughs> Um, so that was the thing. But now, I keep getting fucking animal hair everywhere. But now, I am in my own apartment, which I love and is clean and I take care of it. I am in absolutely easily, without a doubt, the best relationship I've ever been in in my fucking life. I love my girlfriend so much. I could, literally, I just started tearing up. <laughs> Like, I'm whipped. That's crazy. And she is too. Because we're amazing. Together. And separately. And we love each other. And we're awesome. I have more of a grip on my work. Although I am in another burnout right now. I am still financially independent. I always have been. But, um, yeah, that was honestly really never an issue. But goes i you know it's just something i have for myself is i can f financially support myself and others um and i had the space and i wanted a cat and i w knew that i was ready so you're not gonna make me feel bad about it because i love him <laughs> so that is why i don't feel bad well Sorry, I do, but that's what horrible wording. That's why I don't regret rehoming fives. And I hope that gave you more perspective. And I also hope that didn't come off as 
a just like I'm literally neurodivergent and a minor like I, did, I don't want you to think I was like using my mental illness as an excuse because I'm not saying that like what happened was okay I'm again I'm just trying to say that I am not you know the youtuber that like got a pet for you know followers or whatever and then just like got rid of it when it was inconvenient um it was for Flynn's best interest and mine and Casper's best interest so there's the tea sis why the fuck did I do that oh I am so sorry <laughs> That was the first half. Is it weird to just, like, keep podcasting now? That'd be a pretty short podcast. Shit, should that just be its own thing? Should I keep talking? Oh, man, I don't know. I will say, though, I might end this, but I will say that Ariana Grande shit that's going on. Dude, and the dojo. What's going on with celebrities right now? Total tangent. But... Well, I guess it's not a tangent if it's a podcast. I just, mm, I don't know if I can talk about silly stuff after talking about serious stuff. Can we? Is that cool, guys? I think I'm, I think I'm going to. For the sake of not, like, milking it. I don't want to milk the fives thing. The Flynn thing. Hello. This is Honey. Hold on. If, I'll see if she gets closer. There's Honey. She is about four. Lexi's had her for two years. I've met her a few times, and now she's in my apartment. <laughs> um, dude, the Ariana Grande and the Doja Cat stuff that's going on. Yo, what, what is in the celebrity water right now? Hello? <laughs> um, because, if you don't know, freaking Ariana Grande and her husband, like, broke up, and there's... Now she's with this other guy who looks like her brother, which I think is the worst part of all this. I know that some people think that her cheating, being a serial cheater, is the worst part in all this. Um, and like, yeah, cheating's bad. I'm trying to debate what's worse, men or cheating, and it's obviously men though. So I can't feel like horribly, horribly horrible. <laughs> That is so funny for me as someone who's been cheated on to say, that's crazy. <laughs> but, the, you know what? Cheating bad, right? Dating someone that looks like your fucking sibling? Criminal. Criminal. And y'all, I don't know if you've seen the pictures, but it looks bad. Like, that man looks like her brother. Messy, messy. Oh, there she is. Sorry, I was trying to find Honey. Trying to keep an eye on her. Did I already say this? I don't know if I did, but Lexi, for reference, is at work this morning. That's why she's not here. But also, she's not going to be on every podcast episode. I'm not trying to milk our relationship for attention. But we both, like... <laughs> this is so arrogant. We honestly just love our relationship. We ship us so fucking hard that we're like... The world, the world needs to see this. The world needs to see us being gay and living our lives as gay cat moms. Girl, I know that is very egotistical, um, but we like making content together, but I still do want to keep some separation, and I know she does too, especially because she's such like a naturally offline person, but she does like talking to you guys, and she's going to do a podcast here soon where she talks about her job because she's a middle school teacher, and she also teaches special education, um, and the tea she knows on the school and at, like education system and like the behind the scenes of teaching, that stuff is wild. Childhood development is very interesting and crazy. She was she was telling me stuff about her experience from student teaching, and I was like, dude, that's, like, people need to hear this. And she was like, I would love to talk about this. So that'll be something to look forward to. Me promoting a future project as I'm like, guys, uh, I'm not using my relationship for clout. Uh, I kind of am. 
but also we both are we both are like we're so awesome that we want people to see it <laughs> So it's not like I'm like, I'm not fucking like J Station being like, babe, pretend to die. <laughs> babe, pretend I'm gonna Ouija board you back to life. <laughs> not that. <laughs> Hi, honey. But yeah, she is watching a cute baby this morning while her parents the dad works and the mom has a doctor's appointment. So Lexi's just there for a few hours. What time is it? Oh, it's 8.39. I thought it was a little bit longer. I think she said she's getting off at like 10.30. So, but. Oh, and the Doja Cat stuff. Oh man, and I'm upset. Y'all, I'm upset because it's getting to the point where I really, girl, I don't think I can defend you anymore. I really don't think I can. It's getting kind of bad out there. But I love, I love her. Oh. I love her music. I love her new aesthetic. I like her, well, her humor's hit and miss. I used to like it. But I don't know. She honestly, I feel bad in a way because, I don't know, is this kind of bad to be speculating? I'm not like speculating on her mental health, but I do think that she's a person that like should maybe not be f famous. Like I just don't, I think that there are certain celebrities that don't like their celebrity, you know? Uh, Frank Ocean is another one. I think that man fucking hates being famous. Uh, Keanu Reeves, I think probably does too. I think there are a lot of celebrities that fucking Ben Affleck. Oh, the misery in that man's face. Got what he deserved in Gone Girl, though. <laughs> um, but I think Doja is honestly just maybe kind of cracking under that pressure. I think she could also have other stuff going on. And while that is obviously, girl, I'm not one to talk about having issues. I fucking get it. Um, I do think there needs to be some sort of, like, maybe don't do that. But I also do understand self-sabotage. Which is why I do feel bad, because it's not that I've had the thoughts in her, you know, I haven't had those direct thoughts, right? But I've had moments where I am just like, I'm overwhelmed, I'm not happy with YouTube right now, and I have a fan interaction that I didn't like. And I want to, like, complain. I want to be like, some of you are dumb. <laughs> some of you, that is my biggest complaint. I don't know. Sometimes I, this is, this is a, actually a flaw of mine. So please don't take it personally. Um, but like when I, I get very frustrated when people don't understand like my point, um, when I feel I've made it clear or when it feels like people are purposely, uh, misinterpreting what I'm trying to say. I, I really don't like that. And when you're online, that happens a fucking, oh my God, all the time, all the time. Um, but I don't know. I get it. I get being overwhelmed and feeling like there's all of these like voices telling you like what to do or like how to be, but I, I feel like also more importantly, someone should have been there um, to make sure she didn't get to that point. Not that like, she, you know, a grown person can't take care of themselves, but also it's okay for grown people to need help. Um, so, I don't know. I feel bad, but also it's like, all right, you're kind of, you're using like what you're going through to be a dick to people, which that, I don't know. It sucks when something you're going through makes you that person because someone in my life has been that person to me recently. Um, and it sucks to be on the other end of that. Uh, but it's also, you know, it's like, they're going through shit. I think the, I think when you're in that situation, di just disengaging completely is the best option. The issue is that Do Doja won't disengage. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. That does suck. That really sucks. Cause she's very, she, I like her vision. She's so talented, in my opinion. Obviously, music is an, an entirely subjective thing, I know.
what else to talk about? Should we talk about how I have been off center or should we just pretend it's been a creative decision? It's not. I'll tell you that much. Hi, honey. Do you want to sit in my lap? Okay, you don't have to. Mm -hmm. I was just offering. She just makes grouchy noises. <laughs> She's like not mad. She just is always like. <laughs> Lexi calls her ice queen. <laughs> But she is okay. There's not a sitch to be worried about. Um, let's see what to talk about. Um, yesterday, y'all, I was so productive yesterday. I did, I, like, fully have two main channel videos ready. I'm trying to get back into it because I have to. Con I'm contractually obligated um, to get back into the grind on the main channel, which is actually helping me with my burnout. Update on that. I'm still working through that, and I have a plan for the end of this year. This is going to be like a pretty transitional period because I'm actually probably going to break my lease at this apartment, even though I do love this apartment. Nothing wrong with the apartment. Actually, great, great building, great location, great um, leasing. I think when I'll move, I'll tell you where it is just so the Austinites can get the hookup because it's awesome. <laughs> um, but I am planning on moving um, because Lexi, as she mentioned, she lives in her RV with her friend, Eva, our friend, Eva. And me and Lexi want to live together because of course we do, because we're gay <laughs> and love each other. So what do lesbians want to do? You haul. Yes, we do. Um, but they also don't want to live in the RV anymore. So we are trying to get a house together with us and one or two friends. We're trying to get that put together by the end of the year. And my plan, like within that, is once I'm living somewhere else, uh, living with that many people, because we're planning on like four or five people, even just three to five, I guess. Yeah, three to five people. Um... That's going to lower my rent so much because y'all Austin rent. It's so bad out here. I have a one bed, one bath, and it's like 1600 a month. And that's like on the lower end, low key. It's awesome. And it's like not a big apartment. It's smaller than my last apartment by a lot. Anyway. Um, what the f oh yeah, so <laughs> living with that many people will make rent so much cheaper, even though it is like the rent for the property would be more expensive because we'd be looking at like a four, four to five bedroom, I think. Um, but splitting it with that many people actually makes it really fucking cheap. So what I plan on doing whenever I live, um, in a house with that freedom that I'll have by um, having to pay less rent, I'll have more money, which will make me feel more secure because this is a very Capricorn trait, but I am, I am always thinking about working and money um, because YouTube, I never have a consistent check. And I, that, I hate that. I hate that so much. Oh, I hate that. Um, so I'm always thinking about money and I'm always like, how do I get more of it? How do I hold it forever? Like a fucking dragon, like I'm Smog from The Hobbit. <laughs> uh, Hobbit reference? Where are my hobbits out there? <laughs> um, but what I want to do is if I'm, you know, if my cost of living is lower, I'll feel more comfortable to take a step back from the main channel and put more energy into this channel because I really do want to shift to vlog and lifestyle content um, and also like the occasional live stream and stuff. And I want the main channel to be more of a project thing. I want to do it when I am truly inspired to make something because my issue with that channel at the moment is sadly, I'm just not feeling it. Like I, I just, I have no ideas, 
you know? I do like my next two videos that I made. I'm very glad I, I fucking got those out of my brain because I've been kind of struggling recently with work, but I do like those videos. But I want to not have the pressure that that channel brings me um, because I have a few long-term sponsors that I am going to that I, I, like, have to always worry about. Um, well, fuck, those are actually still gonna be there. So I'll at least be posting at least once a month. I would, I'll probably drop my uploads to, like, one to two a month. Um, but that'll be good. But I also want to invest, you know, the time I don't spend on the main channel and stressing about the main channel, I want to spend investing in different parts of my life. I want to get more into crochet. I want to travel more. I want to do Pilates more frequently. Um, I just want to experience more and I also am really enjoying vlogging and I want to do that more. <coughs> Ugh, I'm so sorry. That was gross. Sorry. I should have given a fucking warning for that. So, I hope you don't mind that the main channel is just going to be, like, a way to, like, I don't know, just kind of seeing it as a guaranteed check at the moment because of those sponsorships, because I know that that's, like, a shitty way of looking at YouTube, and I really don't want to look at it like that, but that's why I want to take that time to, like, experience more and try to get inspired and, like, remember that I enjoy creating that content because I'm just unfortunately burnt out right now and I don't. I don't enjoy it. Or should I say, I don't enjoy it as much as I used to. I don't completely, completely hate it at the moment. Specifically with these last two videos I made, I actually do like them and I'm very excited for them to go up. I'm very excited to get feedback on them because it's, I'll just tell you, it's not a secret. Um, it's my video on the idol and my video on the Barbie movie. Two bangers in a row. I, I feel so good about that. Oh, and I cranked those out. I worked so hard on that idol script, y'all. Yeah, but also, um, dude, I just also want to live in a house with a bunch of girls. Not in a weird way, but like just that feminine energy I'm so excited to live in a girl house. So excited. And also, I'll be able to do some more savings uh, because me and Lexi, obviously, we're trying our travel vlogging lesbian ex escapades, adventures. Um, and so we want to make like a joint savings where we put money into it for our travels. And we also want to do overseas traveling because... It's in our five-year plan uh, to move overseas and live overseas. I talked about this a little bit on Threads, actually. Fucking shout out Threads. Follow me over there. Dude, especially now that Twitter's in a fucking... In the shitter. It's called X now. Girl. Mm, okay. Uh, yeah, I threaded about it the other day, like, weeks ago. Um... Just mentioning that we were planning on moving overseas, and somebody actually, like, mentioned that as a thing to talk about in the podcast, is, like, talking about that. Uh, yeah. America sucks. Uh, <laughs> so bad. And we live in, we are queer, neurodivergent, disabled person, people. One of us is disabled. Both of us are the other things I said. Living in... Texas. It's not good for us. <laughs> not good for us at all. Um, and as Lexi mentioned in the last podcast, she grew up overseas. And so, especially from her point of view, as, um, she's not, I think she was born, she was born here, so she's not like an immigrant, but spent a lot of her childhood overseas. So, learning about America through experiencing it rather than just like growing up in it she can tell you America fucking 
sucks so bad. Um, so we want to get out. We want to go. So we're going to do some traveling to different places because we both, we both love the idea of South Korea. Um, we also both really like the idea of Germany because she spent a lot of her years in Germany and she loves it a lot. And I love the way she talks about it. I really do. But we want to, we want to go to like a lot of places before we choose. Um, and I don't know if she'll want me to say this. If this makes it in, it's because I asked her and she said I could say this. Um, she is a military brat. And she's also, again, a teacher. So since she's a teacher and has like the military connect, we can just like, she can work on a base and we can just get stationed like anywhere. And they would pay for the expenses and shit. The only thing is that we would have to be married. Oh no. Oh no, I have to marry this girl. Oh, this sucks so bad. That sucks so bad. <laughs> Obviously, that's not happening soon. But again, that's in our five-year plan. Um, so yeah, we want to go. We, our top two are definitely um, South Korea and Germany. Where else were we thinking? We want to, oh, I think Amsterdam we also talked about too. There's a lot of places. We're open to a lot of places. Um, we are open... God, it's weird being online because I'm like scared people are gonna nitpick this. I don't know. I we are looking for places um, that you know. Obviously, no offense to people from these areas or countries, obviously, but we know that we don't want to live um, in places with historical. Um, a not very good treatment of gay people, of women, of mentally ill people. So there are places like th that we will avoid. Um, I'm very sorry, especially I, like it's it's no doubt that there are some beautiful countries that just you know don't have the best leadership. I'm not naming names because I don't want to be controversial, and also because that's so general that it's true. You know, you just uh, pick one and apply it, right? There are some places that are bad. Is that controversial? I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. But, yeah. We do want to move overseas. That'd be cool. But we do want to do some traveling around the U.S., of course, while we're here. Because there are some cool places to see here. So, that's that. I like that I went from sitting up to, I'm like fully laying down. What is this? Am I too comfortable? Is this kind of, is this like weird? I don't know. I hope not. Anyway, I'm trying to think of what else I'm going to do today. I might brainstorm a video idea because I, I think I have three sponsorships I have to post this month on the main channel. My need for financial security fucks my burnout over hard, dude. But I might brainstorm on that. Um, I might play The Sims. I've been thinking of Simmon recently. Ooh, especially, wait, I don't know if it's out yet. Is the horses, is the Sims 4 horses out yet? Please, please, Sims 4 horse ranch. Is it out, is it out, is it out, is it out? Please, please. <gasps> it's out, it came out four days ago. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm literally gonna leave and I'm gonna go buy that. And then I'm gonna edit this. And then I'm gonna play Sims 4 horse ranch. This is the best day of my life. Okay, well, that was this episode of the podcast. Um, thank you for hearing me out about Flynn. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this. I know this was a fucking weird combination of topics, but that's what a podcast is, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. Thank you, though, for watching. Check out the other vlogs, upcoming vlogs, um, if you haven't, or if you're a podcast only. Then I'll see you for the next podcast. And thank you for being a dedicated gray spacer. Or should I call you like an astronaut? What should I call you guys? If you're, if you are podcast onlys, <laughs> if any of y'all are out there, that would be funny as fuck. I don't know. My little astronauts. That's kind of cute. Wait. 
I don't know, I'll think of a fan name for y'all. But thanks, uh, and like and subscribe and comment and follow and share and like do all this stuff.